Hey guys, in the past we've shown you how to do recovery based things like flashing and backing up with a recovery image called Clockwork Mod Recovery. There's a new player on the block. It's actually been around for a while, we just haven't shown it to you yet, called Team Win Recovery from the Team Win Recovery Project. What's it all about? Does it stack up? What's cool and what's not? I'm Joe Levi, this is Pocket Now, let's go take a look. So here we've got the Nexus 4. I am booted up now into fast boot mode and I have just flashed Team Win Recovery. And I'm ready now to reboot into recovery mode. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see the first boot. It looks just like everything else at this point. And then we get a nice splash screen. Something that's not all that common with recovery images. From here you'll notice nice big buttons. We've got a time, we've got a battery indicator, we've got the version of the recovery image that we're running, all kinds of neat stuff. So let's go ahead and look at what we've got. We can install, wipe, backup, restore, mount, go into settings, advanced, and reboot. Well, let's go ahead and flash a ROM, shall we? Let's install something from, uh, I believe I put it in downloads. No, I didn't. So let's go up a level. You'll notice this is all very touch-centric. And, and works really well. We can scroll up and down, do what we need to. This is alphabetized the way you'd expect it to be alphabetized. Not the way Linux alphabetizes things where uppercase and lowercase are different letters. I'm going to Clockwork Mod, into Download, and I believe I downloaded to right over here. The most up-to-date version is 14.6.16. And let's go ahead and flash this. So the first thing we're met with now is kind of a disclaimer along with some extra check boxes to look for uh, zip file signature verification and that MD5 sum checks, which are very good things by the way. We need to install one more thing, so let's add more zips. We can install a maximum of 10. We're gonna go up a level, up another level, up another level, up another level, and we're gonna come over here to this and gaps, and we're going to install that version. Now, from here, we're good to go. All we gotta do is swipe to confirm flash, or if you screwed something up, you can clear the zip queue. So let's go ahead and swipe, just like that. Have a nice little textual box like we normally have showing us what's going on, but we also have this status indicator. We'll let this go ahead and run and be back as soon as it's done flashing. At this point, we're met with a message that says flashing was successful, and we can now either wipe the cache, reboot the system, or go back home. We're going to go back home for now because we want to look at a couple other things. Wiping, always a good thing to wipe. Try and teach my kids that every day. So inside here, we can wipe any of the things that we want to. We can go back. Next, let's look at uh, some of our settings. We can turn on zip signature verification all the time, force MD5 checks on all zips. That does mean that you need the MD5 file to check against. I don't put those on there, I probably should, but don't check that unless you have the MD5 files also. Uh, option to use RM-RF instead of formatting. Skip MD5 generation during backup, don't do that. Enable MD5 verification of backup files, yes do that. Ignore image size errors during backup. Ooh, don't do that. And uh, simulate actions for theme testing. Yes, this is themable. We can also set our time zone in here, so kind of cool. Look at a little bit more stuff. Advanced, we can copy logs to our SD, fix permissions. This is something that you should do anytime you flash and you're running into errors, just weird things that are happening, force closes, fix permissions. It usually will go in and resolve a lot of your headaches for you. We have a file manager, a terminal command window, which terminal from right here in recovery, that's awesome, you have no idea. Uh, ADB sideload, which we saw just recently on how to install some of the, the more updated Jelly Bean ROMs and whatnot through ADB sideload rather than other methods. And then uh, we can go in and reload themes. So really, really cool, I like this quite a bit. We can go ahead and reboot. It's team win recovery. It's a lot more user friendly than clockwork mod recovery is. If you haven't flashed anything yet as far as a recovery ROM, this is probably the one I would recommend. You may wanna stay away from theming it because anytime they do major updates to it, you need to turn off your theme before you install the update. Just a little uh, caveat there that I've seen in some of the discussion forums. 
That having been said, it's very nice. One other caveat. This probably isn't going to work with ROM Manager. So if you use ROM Manager to install all of your nightly builds of your favorite custom ROM, you're probably going to have to flash those manually rather than going through and doing it automatically like you would with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Overall, really cool. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw here, give the video a thumbs up if you're watching it on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, head over to pocketnow.com. Of course, we'll have links to all of this stuff so you can go out and download and uh, get it all for yourself, try it out, and use it on your own device. They do support a wide variety of devices over there. Again, that's over at pocketnow.com. I'll have a link to that down at the bottom of the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks very much for watching.